Now adding a catalyst has no effect on the equilibrium uh, in that the you will not see any change in the equilibrium constant which will come up in a later video. Um, so you can see that the only thing that it does is um, reduce the activation energy uh, and because in equilibrium the forward and reverse reactions are happening at the same time the effect is to uh, just make it easier for the forward and reverse reactions but you can't actually see that going on um, and that being said that it has no effect on the reaction it still does have uh, a ref an effect if for instance it's an open system so in the previous slide we showed the harbour process if I just flick back to it uh, what happens is they actually condense the gas out so it's actually an open system uh, and so they manage to get all of it to react and turn into ammonia which is important for fertilization and being able to support the nine billion people or so on this planet would not exist if we couldn't produce the food and we need to fertilize it for that uh, and so that's an example of actually a catalyst does have an effect on the reaction but it's not the equ an equilibrium reaction now it's now an open system going to completion and again the catalyst does actually have an effect in that if you are asked to redraw this with a catalyst uh, you need to make the the equilibrium uh, reach you need to make the equation the system reach equilibrium much faster so I've drawn in these red lines to show the effect of the catalyst uh, so classically you don't get any questions on that the only question is a trick uh, what effect will a catalyst have on the reaction uh, and the answer is nothing but in this example here of the graph and the previous example of an open system um, there is actually uh, even more trick to this question now and that it actually does have uh, an effect in certain situations.